Hello and what's up YouTube? In this video, I will show you some updates with my homemade powder coating setup. And one of those updates is the addition of a solenoid valve. That is the reason you see this pair of air hoses coming out of the power supply. The solenoid valve do the same job as the air valve trigger of my existing gun. So to see if it works, I will have to cable tie the trigger so it stay at open position. But first, let us look at how I did the modification and later I'll explain why I need to use a solenoid valve. So this is the solenoid valve I bought online. I chose the model that operate with 12 volts and having one quarter inch NPT threaded ports. And this is what it looks like, very small and compact. To connect the air hoses to the solenoid valve, I also got this elbow type push-in fittings with quarter inch mill threads. The 90 degree elbow helps with routing the air hoses to the available space inside my DC power supply. Aside from the fittings I attached to the solenoid valve, I also got this straight threaded push-in fittings and this coupling. This will be attached to the front panel of my DC power supply so I actually need a pair of these. This is the same DC power supply I built out of a discarded PC UPS. Check out that video if you have not done yet. I changed the potentiometer to this precision type potentiometer and it makes adjusting the output DC voltage a lot easier. You will also notice that the front panel of this PC UPS now have an aluminum sheet. I added the aluminum front panel so that I can mount these push-in fittings for the air hoses. There you go, I simply drilled the exact hole diameter so that I can attach the fittings using the threaded connection. So that is what it looks like. And inside the case, you can see where I plan to position the solenoid valve. I don't have a lot of space inside and that is where the elbow fittings comes in handy. And here's the finished setup, all wired up and with the air hoses connected. So this is the perf board I made for the full wave rectifier. By the way, the electronic components like diodes, relays, and connectors are salvaged from the old circuit board of the UPS and some other circuit boards I got from the dumpster. That circuit ports the DC to DC buck converter to adjust the output voltage. And that over there is the precision potentiometer I just recently changed out. You can see how the air hoses are routed to the solenoid valve and the fittings in the front panel. It just fits perfectly with the available space I had on the UPS case. And lastly, this perf board I made, and I had these wiring terminal blocks. The terminal block make wiring easier to make the various connections to this two 12 volts relay. 
One of these relays controls the solenoid valve, and the other one controls the output DC voltage going to the gun. The USB cable I use for the gun has these wires inside. It have these red, black, white, and green wires. It also have this outer shield conductor. I'll now show you how I wired that to the gun to work with the relays and solenoid valve. So this on-off switch is simply connected to the white and green wires and those control the two relays. The red and black wires are the DC positive and negative input to the high voltage cascade circuit. And this thick wire is the earth ground connection from the cascade to the metal gun body. So turning on the switch in the gun energizes the two relays at the same time and that turn on the solenoid valve and connects the output DC voltage to the cascade. And I did a solenoid modification because I am planning to make another powder coating gun out of this guy. It will only have an electrical switch on the trigger and not a manually operated air valve. My homemade gun at this point is based on the Eastwood gun design which have the air valve manually controlled on the trigger. For my next gun version, I am thinking of making something similar to a red line gun and probably adding a powder pump in the future. So it is inevitable to go with a solenoid controlled airflow. I also stopped using this small inline air regulator I had in the past and got this proper air regulator to my air compressor. That inline air regulator does not really work well. Now let us see if this new setup works. I'll still be using my existing gun so I have to cable tie this air valve trigger so it stays open and only the solenoid will be controlling the airflow. One of these holes is the output of the air compressor and the other one goes to the supply of the gun. It is interchangeable so it does not matter if we plug it the other way around. And there you go, when I turn on the switch, air flows to the powder hopper at the same time powering the high voltage cascade. Now it's time to spray some powder. These small metal parts came from my cutoff wheel that I refurbished. You will see more about that small project in my other powder coating video. So this is basically the same powder coating gun setup and the solenoid valve simply turn the air supply to the power hopper on and off. Please see my other powder coating videos if you have not done yet, so you will learn more about this home built powder coating gun. I put all the details of this project also known as my hobby as I continually make developments in those series of videos. I simply cannot put all the information in one video so I hope you go through my powder coating video playlist if you want to see more.
go, ladies and gentlemen. I would say that the solenoid valve modification is a success. I'm not really particular with the appearance of the parts and did not spend time sanding or prepping, so existing surface imperfection still shows with the final coated products. Anyway, I, anyway I'm happy that I got full coverage of the paint on all these small parts. As always, I would love to answer your question if you have any, so please leave them on the comments. And please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not done yet. I will have more videos about the home build powder coating system, so please stay tuned. Thank you very much and God bless you all.